My name is David Barstow and I'm an unlikely ambassador. As uh, some of you may know, I'm, I'm basically a computer guy. And um, I've always wondered, you know, why God would make somebody like me, and, and what good am I? You know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a sociologist, or anything like that. So, um, you know, what what good am I? Okay. My wife and I had been to Africa a couple times on touristy things, and I had some business there. We kind of fell in love with the place, uh, but that was just we just loved it as tourists. In the 2006 leadership summit. Uh, Bono did an interview with uh, Bill Hybels and he asked the question, why had Christians taken so long to respond to the AIDS crisis? And I thought back, you know, I've known about Africa for five years, I've known about the AIDS crisis and I've done nothing at all. Go do something. But what? I mean, I'm just a computer guy. You know, I, I, I kind of wanted to do something for years, but I could never figure out what. You know, what's God going to do with a guy like, with skills like the, the computer ones that I have? But I said, well, if he wants me to do something, then he probably wants me to use the skills I've got. Maybe we can figure out what it is. And that began a, now a, a two-year journey of, of trying to figure that out. out someone named Moffat Zimba, who's the uh, president of North Rise University in Dola, Zambia. Heard about him from uh, kind of a networking connection through Carol and a friend of hers. Um, and he and his wife founded a university. It's a Christian university. But they have an IT department, information technology department, and they want someone to help them with their IT stuff. I thought, holy cow, you know, somebody in Africa wants something to do with computers. Well, maybe there's a hook here. But there was another part of the hook that um, really wasn't directly computers, but it was um, learning to work with pastors. Uh, the, one of the first things that I heard about um, as I tried to find out more about the AIDS crisis was that pastors in Africa are just, are, are just desperate for information just even books or articles or anything that can help them figure out what they should do about this calamity that's at their, their congregations, their communities. Uh, and it seemed to me that, that that ought to be something that we over here could help with. You don't have to be a doctor to help get information. So, uh, so that seemed like something that we ought to be able to help with. We explored that, uh, went over there, uh, I was actually in Africa several times last year, um, and the one of the most striking was um, a, a workshop that was held in Chipata, Zambia, which is over on the border with Malawi. Uh, and it was a, a workshop for, um, for pastors from nine congregations uh, in the Chipata area. Um, and a, it was a workshop on how to deal with um, the stigma and discrimination that's associated with AIDS, because that's really a barrier to everything that happens after that. It keeps people from getting tested, it keeps people from getting aid and help when they're sick. Uh, so if, if, if we could fight that stigma discrimination, then that would be get past a real barrier. So um, so I, uh, someone at our church helped to get the funding for this workshop, and I went over and I was just a student. I just you know sat in the audience and took the course along with the, the, uh, the, the pastors and others from the who were there. Uh, and, and two things came out of it. One is I met a guy who is the head of the Presbyterian Chapada who's convinced his presbytery to buy him a computer, and he's used it to make money. I thought, oh, all right. So if pastors can make money with computers, that helps part of the problem. Um, and then the other part was um, just seeing how the workshop worked. It turned out it was what, in, in my consulting life, I'd call an, an action planning workshop for organizational change. And that's, those are highfalutin words, but I spent most of the last 10 years doing that kind of stuff with businesses helping them work with computers. Here was a case of changing the congregations and their attitudes and behavior with respect to the stigma and discrimination. But the, the mechanisms, the styles of working with people, they were just the same. Just the same as I'd, I'd, I'd seen before. And I'd, I'd done before. So I thought, all right, now here's the hook. So we pull these computers together, work on these action planning workshops, then that's, that's something that, that could be um, used to help the pastors. It could be that support, that that training that uh, that we can help provide for them. 
uh, we're not going to win the battle. They're going to win the battle. But if we can help them, then uh, the battle will get won a lot faster. I suppose I'm, I'm an unlikely ambassador because I'm not the first guy you'd pick. I mean, my, my skills, I'm, you know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a sociologist, uh, I'm not that good maybe at working with people. So, so what good am I going to do? And I've, I've, I've wondered that for years and years. Uh, and, and the big step for me was when, when, when looking at the AIDS crisis in Africa was to decide that, or to realize that um, God was going to show me what to do. I just had to go ahead and step off and say, all right, I'm going to do something. So if, if, if someone else feels like they're an unlikely ambassador, uh, I guess the thing I would say is, is um, God's going to use you the way you are. You don't have to change. He built you that way. He gave you the skills and the experience, the gifts that you have. Use those. You don't need to change yourself. Uh, and just let him guide you. He'll show you what to do.